and six right into six left long tightens four of a crest two left long tightens oh 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 all this that's what happens into slow one right long don't cut So hi everyone, uh, I said I'd do a little bit of a follow-up video because I've gotten a lot of questions about uh, the quality, the choppiness of my previous video for Dirt 2.0 and uh, I said I'd just do another little video and maybe share some of the other things that have uh, um, kind of happened to me or been happening over the last uh, 24 hours with this game. So um, first thing is, when I, whenever I start up the game, so you can see there, like this is me looking straight ahead it's always down there which is a little bit annoying um i also find that uh even though i'm uh, in the game okay i have triple screens and stuff like that i need to um select the actual game in my taskbar and only then do i get the sound and stuff and keyboard input which is which is fine but it's a little bit uh annoying it seems like it could be better um so i have to kind of look down like this it's not the most comfortable now my keyboard is over here uh, I don't know if there's any easy way to uh, reset it. Uh, I had a look inside in options and extras and stuff like that. There seems to be no clear way um, to reset it. So I tend to go into the game. So I'll go back into my career mode. I also had an issue where I could see absolutely nothing in the game. And uh, what actually happened was my I was changing my OBS settings and I changed it from hardware to software. Um, uh, acceleration and uh, for some reason even though that was a setting in OBS it meant that whenever I opened the game even if OBS wasn't running uh, it just wouldn't allow me to uh, actually view the game which is very very weird so I'll uh, go in here still annoying looking down to the left Starts 30 crest and 3 left long and 5 right long. Good luck. It's kind of weird that you don't actually end up in the car until right before it. So now I should be yeah, in the car. So here we go. Not centered again. So just hit escape. Go down in the menu. I have to look straight ahead. Now that should be more or less where I want to be. And one weird thing that's been happening to me as well, you can see it here now. As soon as I do that, my menu seems to just disappear. I don't I don't have my options anymore. So that definitely needs to be fixed. Uh, it's pretty annoying. Um, I've also lost my uh, uh, little indicator for how far along the stage I am and stuff. So uh, yeah, really annoying stuff. As I said yesterday, my handbrake doesn't register, so I had to press a button Five, on the keyboard four, or on the steering wheel. Two, one, go. Thirty, crest and three left long, and five right long. Thirty. So I'll try to uh, be slightly better driving today. Three right, into now, two left. I say over the last 24 hours, but this is actually still only my third or fourth into actual right. time driving. Extra long, tightness cut. Opens, six right. Into three left long. Opens up a crest, 100. Turn unseen, two left tightens. If anybody knows a fix for uh, that issue that I'm having with the menu, two please do shout. Long. Just say it Opens in the comments below. 50. Six right long, eighty. Slow, four left of a crest, into one right, tightens, don't cut. Sixty. Four left. Into six right of a crest, 
It took one left tightness. Fifty. Flat middle of a crest, 150. So even what you guys see on the stream now, it's not as smooth as what I'm actually seeing on my headset. And uh, one of the issues that I definitely know exists is that um, the Lenovo Explorer is a lot more forgiving on your PC than, because uh, I'm using the Lenovo Explorer now, it's a lot more forgiving than the Oculus and uh, the HTC Vive as well. Uh, they seem to just be a lot more uh, resource hungry. Um, I'm getting, I don't actually have an FPS indicator on right now, and I've not touched any of the settings in the game, so it's, it's on pretty good settings, because I saw it on like uh, four times uh, anti-stropic uh, filtering, and like 16 times, oh no, four times MSAA, 16 times um, uh, anti-stropic filtering and stuff, so it was, it was on pretty decent settings, and it looks great to me. I can see all the rays and dust and all that kind of stuff, and uh, at a guess, I think I'm getting about 80 or 90 frames per second, which is which is decent. Oh, 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 oh! Rolled it. That's what happens. But at least hopefully that'll give you a good bit of sense for like there was no performance jump or such. I I think that the stream seems to be kind of uh, jittering a, a little bit at times, but hopefully it's it's better than yesterday anyway. Um, so yeah, the, the Lenovo uh, is, is just, a, and I, I, I'm guessing the other Windows Mixed Reality headsets as well are a lot more forgiving. This all looks very clear to me, the shadows look very clear. As I always say, this, it just doesn't translate to the 2D image that you guys are seeing.
slow, six left into turn, one left cut. Fifty. Five left long, into six right, extra long. Sixty. Flat long crest, thirty. 60, flat long crest, 30 of a finish, it don't cut, 6 right to stop. That stage was tough, but it felt fast. So that's about it, hopefully that gives you a better sense of uh, what the game is like. Um, I'm seeing a black screen now, again. Um, as I say, it's far from optimised. I seem to have to jump through a lot of hoops just to get um, basic menus and stuff working so hopefully they'll work on a lot of that stuff but uh, all in all the gameplay itself is really really good really smooth on a Lenovo Explorer I have a GTX 1080 I've got an old uh, i7 4771K I've got 20, uh, 20 gigs of DDR3 RAM so it's nothing nothing too special and uh, yeah, it's all, all going good. I need to turn off that menu music as well because it's terrible. Cheers for watching.